And here we are at Village Marina. I mean, I can't believe how crazy it is here. We were a little worried because it was so early in the season. That hasn't been a problem thus far. It hasn't been a problem at all. It's amazing the amount of people are here. You know, even Friday afternoon was great. I've heard even Thursday evening it was fascinating and just tons of business and people were buying boats. It was probably the best Thursday that I, this is my 20th year at the Overland Park Boat Show and it was probably the busiest that I've seen it on the opening night. It was awesome. Yeah, it's really good to see and it's good to sit, know that you'll see a lot of these people down at the lake this summer. Let's talk about what people have been finding here at your booth at the Overland Park Show and, and what they've really been getting excited about. Well, Deborah, you know, the Cobalt Boats, obviously, at Village Marina and it's been a staple for a long, long time. We're one of the larger dealers in the nation, and we are a platinum dealer this year, so we have the full lineup here. Well, I want to point out this A36 back here, <laughs> back here at the back, and that's a new model for this year. Uh, it's been very, very well received. Thank you, Joe. I've got to stop you. You have your own personal assistant I, yeah, right here to your side. They, they take you. really good you care really of You're really pampered. That, well, after 20 years, you should be pampered well, a little bit. That's the way we take care of all our customers here. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Well, let's talk about what's right behind you here because that's a beautiful boat. Well, the A36 is new for this year. It's a, it's kind of a modified open bow with a nice cabin under it. Runs about 50 mile an hour on 380 out uh, um, stern drive. So it's a very, very impressive boat and very efficient. I mean, let me ask you this, because we've talked a lot at the boat show about stern drives. Now, what makes a difference? What is it that really helps with maneuvering the boat and navigating Lake of the Ozarks when you have a stern drive? Well, in a stern drive boat, you know, compared to some of the outboards, you still have the joystick. So the joystick makes it much easier to maneuver around the docks, gives everybody that opportunity to drive a bigger boat, and opens up the world to a lot of people. But it also gives that performance that people are looking at at the Lake of the Ozarks. And you know, if you want to get from one end to the other, you better have some performance. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, of course, that's not the only thing you have here. And you do have things for all sorts of budgets at Village Marina. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we can go from a 20 foot all the way up to the A40. And then also we took on the Grady White line, which is the outboard uh, offshore model center console. And they do have dual console models. So we're very excited about that. It gives that offering to all our people. You know, and obviously we have a great marina and great service and the boathouse, you know, it's famous for what we do there and all the hors d'oeuvres and fun at, in the swimming pool. Absolutely, yeah, because they do have one of the nicer swimming pools at the lake and it's a, it's also a family friendly pool. So you got a little separation. I mean, where's the powder? Powder. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I truly am impressed by your crew here at Village well, you Marina. Know, we, we do have one thing about it, Village Marina is a great time. And I think that I think that the everybody at the lake knows that. We like to have fun, but that's what boating is all about, is having fun on the water. And it's a family-owned business. It's run by people who made boating part of their lifestyle from the time they were wee little kids. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. It's one of the oldest, largest, continuing-run marinas. The Bricks have owned it for the 25 years. This is their 25th year, and Cobalt is their 50th year. So it's a long-term commitment to the Lake of the Ozarks.